following tutorial will show you how to move your map from ArcGIS Online into Arc Desktop 10.1. At this point you'll be asked to log on to your ArcGIS Online account. Type in your password and hit sign in. This will copy all of the information that was on your online map and put it into ArcGIS 10.1. Whereas the online version was scrollable, this map is not. It goes as far as the International Dateline on the west to where it would meet up again on the International Dateline on the east. You will likely want to use the pan tool to move the map to such a spot where you see the information that is needed, including the North American plate, earthquakes, and Iceland, including the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. To figure out what angle you would need, if you think of exactly horizontal as 0 degrees and exactly vertical as 90 degrees, that will help you estimate the angle needed. Statements for description should be kept fairly brief and on multiple lines in order to condense it so it does not spread across the entire map and it does not cover up important information. Use a halo. Open ocean is often a good place to put text. Now North America lies on the North American plate. It is being dragged slowly to the west. What energy is powerful enough to drag the continents? It comes from the Earth's core. As new ocean crust is forming at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the same rock is also dragging the continents to the west like a conveyor belt. Where it meets the Pacific Plate, it collides, forming mountains and major earthquakes. The Cascadia subduction zone stretches from northern Vancouver Island all the way to northern California. This is the same type of subduction zone that was present in Japan and in Indonesia. The Pacific Ring of Fire stretches all the way around the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Plate is the world's largest tectonic plate. It is also the most geologically active area with many volcanoes and earthquakes. 
now to get our map ready for publishing. Remember, you want your map to take up the printable area. You want a black outline around your map. Note the blank white space on the left side by the green outline. You want to use your zoom to crop your map so that it takes up the printable area and you don't have that white strip. So you might need a combination between your zoom and your pan tool. <laughs> 